Well, I made a little error when I was fitting my uh, spindle motor here. I guess on reflection I should have done the risers and the stiffeners and all that stuff first and then do the uh, z-axis. When I did it, I obviously set it all up. Um, so when the motor is at the lower end of its travel, it, the uh, bit uh, easily reaches the, uh, the wasteboard. Um, however, now that I've moved everything up, with the spindle motor at the close to the lower end of its travel, I have about a 30 mil uh, clearance here, which is no good. So I need to remake the uh, the backing plate that I did for the spindle motor and r r lower this bracket down by about 30 mil. So I got myself a piece of uh, 10 mil aluminium plate, and we shall work on that uh, as the replacement. So as the saying goes, some moments later. So here's the uh, replacement for the uh, for the Corian one that I did before. The only major challenge I had with doing this was uh, doing the counter bores for the uh, for these bolts right here, because doing it in uh, Corian, which is just really a type of acrylic. Uh, I had a fastener bit that I could just use it for drilling a, a nice counterbore. However, you can't do that in aluminium with a fastener bit. <laughs> and so, since I don't really have any machine shop facilities, um, I had to go and get myself an end mill that would be uh, large enough which to clear the uh, the heads of the bolts, which is, turns out to be 11 mil. And of course, I tried it the uh, I tried to shortcut. So I fixed this in the vise, just held it with my hand on the on the table of the drill press and uh, tried to do the counter bore. And I don't know if you can see the little scars, <laughs> but it grabbed hold of the metal vise and all and just whipped it completely out of my hand. So <laughs> that gave me cause for concern. Um, and so I had to uh, basically take the, uh, the flat bit off my drill press so that I could fix the vise tightly to it and uh, line it all up etc etc the other challenge unfortunately is my drill press is about 30 years old and the bearings in the quill are all knackered so uh, uh, I don't think it, it was vibrating a little bit um, but we got there in the end and I'm reasonably okay with the outcome and uh, as I was saying this is now let's say we've dropped the uh, we've dropped the thing down about 30 mil so we're good uh, however, the heat wave has arrived now, so it's up around 98 today, and so productivity in the Zone 1242 workshop is down to zero. And uh, my video machine, my video editing machine, is upstairs, where it's even hotter. Um, so I'm not sure when this is going to get uploaded. <laughs> we shall see. Okay, so the new plate <coughs> has worked out really well. Here you can see I've got the the thickest piece of stock you could put in here which is just shy of 120 mil or let's say four and five eighths inches and with the, with, a, with a reasonably lengthy bit in the collet there's just still about three eighths of an inch or 10 mil before I hit the uh, limit switch on the top and when I drop it all the way down to the bottom so that the uh, bit is hitting the bed there's still about a, a centimeter to go before the uh, carriage would hit the uh, lower end stop. So we're good. I've recalibrated it and it is much different in terms of the settings that you have to put in for the uh, steps per um, millimeter uh, on the uh, on the y-axis with the new belt but all well, seems to be going. Once the temperature cools down a bit, we'll carve something on this beast.